Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jake, aka Tag, and today we're back at AM with the fastest cycle deck in Clash Royale. We're gonna be playing a 1.8 Elixir, Elixir Golem cycle deck with Bomber, Heal, and Mirror. I think that this deck will work even better than the Bomber, Heal, Golem deck that I used before because it's got an even faster cycle, so that means even more bombers. Fast cycle decks like this are just so fun to play because I'm able to constantly play cards and confuse my opponents. So let's go jump straight into some games and assert some dominance with the cheapest elixir cycle deck that I've ever played on the channel. So we got a game against Ender. We're saucing out an Ice Spirit. We'll see what's up. Let's go for a scale. He's in the back if he's not responding. And we're getting a little bit of chip damage here and there until we can figure out what he's got. Oh my gosh, he's still not dropping cards. What is happening here? Guess we'll go for a bomber in the back. This will definitely dictate a response from our opponent. Okay, he's got Wizard. So when we see Wizard, I'm expecting him to have some type of answer to us. So I can't go for... Our elixir golem here at all i just need to chill i need to relax there's the mega knight just as we thought if i went into that i would have just straight up lost the game boys we go for a skeletons on top of the wizard so then we can kill it for a very nice elixir trade and then maybe we can go for bats and go for a zap on top of the skarmy guys this is actually looking really good for me because we're gonna be able to go on the right hand side as well with elixir golem and bomber so he's gonna have to defend both sides very difficult for him to do. If we go for a heal, we can keep those <laughs> little Elixir Golem pups running, man. And we take the tower. That's what I'm talking about, guys. This game is crazy. So do not go in for bombers plus Elixir Golem at the start of the game. Or you could just lose simply because your opponent will go in for, let's say, just a Mega Knight or Valkyrie right on top. Squash your bomber and then you don't really have any extra support. This guy just gave up. We've won the game already. Oh my gosh, we made him rage quit with a 1.8 elixir deck. That's insane to me. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Pleasure playing against you, and good luck in the rest of your GC. This deck is so meme -y. So we got a game against Gat. We're gonna sauce out of good luck, and I almost said Cap, but his name is Gat. What has he got? He's got the pay to win thumbs up. We gotta sauce out the pay to win thumbs up. We gotta show him that we are also a dirty, dirty gemmer. We're gonna go in for skeletons in the back end. We'll see what's up. This guy is still not doing anything. Ooh. Our skeleton will kill that miner, so I'm chilling. We don't have to go and cycle a bomber there because if we do, then it could get fireballed or poisoned. Just don't want to allow him to get that value on me right now. Whew. Okay, so we see bats and we see miner. This is probably gonna be wall breakers with bomb tower. Yep, 100% it. We're gonna go for skeletons. Whoa, no, he's got mortar. All right, not the deck that we we're anticipating. Definitely not the deck that we we're anticipating. And he's got Valkyrie. All right. Our push is completely stifled. My day is ruined. <laughs> you know, we can kind of come back in this, I think. That's going to be more difficult since he's got Valkyrie and he's got Mortar as a defensive structure. Usually they don't have that, but we might be able to claw our way back. Yeah, even people that are running like Mortar are starting to run Poison in their deck just because they're tired of Witch. We're not rocking Witch, but we're running something pretty similar with all the spam. We're like having this Walmart Witch combination where you have... The, the bats that are just spammed without the Night Witch, and then the Bomber for all your damage. But the bats are going to get on top of the tower, and he's not able to hit everything. The Snowball actually made us evade that Mortar Shot for a bit, and we are going to take the tower. Let's go, man. The Walmart Witch combination is too strong. It's OP, dude. It's overwhelming our opponents here. So we definitely just take that tower, and we're going to go in for a Bomber to obliterate his Valkyrie so he's not able to get counter pushed. Then we can cycle a Bomber on the left-hand side. And this is actually not looking so bad for me. First and foremost, I want to cycle my bomber before I go in for my zap, so then I'm able to kill his miner. So I had to zap, that's correct, right? Like 100% I needed to. But if I hadn't cycled my bomber first, then I would have been mirroring my zap. So we can't do that. We have to mirror our bomber. So we have to be very deliberate with the cards that we cycle first in this matchup. When I go in for a skeletons here, I can go in for another bomber. And I generally want to mirror my bombers with this deck. So that's what I'm doing first and foremost before anything else. I could cycle my Elixir Golem, but it's better for me to just mirror my bomber so I can get more of them on the map. Elixir Golem was actually misplayed because now he's going to be able to hit the bomber as well. I don't want that to happen. We're going to have to heal it all up. Maybe the bomber is going to stay alive a little bit longer. We actually beat out a Valkyrie. Let's go, man. That's insane. I think that bomber is actually high key amazing in this meta. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like it's just so solid. Going for an Ice Spirit to make sure that we can shut everything down. Going for an Elixir Golem just to defend the virginity for 24 more seconds. I mean, he's got the overpowered witch, but the Walmart witch is making strides in life. Actually making big things happen. Big plays only with the Walmart witch. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go in for the trifecta of bombers. So you guys know about Walmart. It's all about deals. And we got the four pack here. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen so many bombers? It's insane, guys. 
<laughs> GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Dominance was definitely asserted there. So this guy's gonna go in for a princess at the river. What is this mad lad running? So probably gonna be log bait, right? That's what I would expect, at least. We're gonna go for an ice spear in front of our skeletons, see if we can get some damage with them. The little Larrys that could. Oh, he's gonna drop a Dark Goblin. We could zap that. Not worth, though, because we want to conserve Elixir. We need to make big plays. Big pushes here. Oh, daddy. That's what I'm talking about. We go in for a bomber. We go in for... Bomber on the left with Skeleton's Ice Spirit. And then we have a huge Elixir Golem on the other side. I think that the bomber on the left is just going to do an incredible amount of damage. Oh, no. Really? You had to meme on me like this, man? So this guy has got Valkyrie and Mega Knight to stop our bridge man. <laughs> with Princess as well to kill my bats. This is probably the worst matchup I could have ever had happen to me. Maybe we can go for like an Elixir Golem to go and pull. That Mega Knight's not going to get pulled. We lose this. There's no way to win at this point, boys. I done goofed to Aaron. I done goofed. The Mega Knight's going to hit our tower, and that's going to be a tragic amount of damage. If I come back in this, it would be hilarious, but I'm just not a believer at this point because he does have a hard counter, and he also uh, made me mess up, made me done goof. Wait, are the Lister Golems actually just going to take the left-hand side if I heal them? Oh my gosh, it's like a win condition of their own. You can mess up, miss your kite, and still be chilling. That's incredible, guys. I guess Logbait just is really bad in the meta or something. I'm not sure. We're gonna go for bats right on top of the princess. Wreck that. Eat it alive. It was quite a tasty princess, though. I feel like a dragon from all those, like, stereotypical fairy tales. The dragon that eats the princess. That's me right now. Not Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> I guess it could be Little Red Riding Hood. It's too... It's too unfortunate that Clash Royale, like, doesn't have, like, skins. Little Red Riding Hood princess or something. That'd be so funny. We're gonna go in for bats in the middle again. And he might princess. He's just gonna Mega Knight though. We have double Elixir Golems. You can defeat the Elixir Golem, but you can't keep your tower alive. So as long as we defend for 44 seconds, we will walk away with a W. The main thing is, can I defend? Look at the Elixir Golems doing so much work. Okay, somehow we killed this push. I don't know how that happened, but we did. We're gonna have to go for an Elixir Golem on defense. Stockpile as much as possible. Princess is locked on, so I'm going for bats. Now I can go in for a bomber, double bomber domination. Go for another elixir golem. Just stacking up as many elixir golems as possible on defense. Can we walk away with the W, guys? That is the real question. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good about this. We've had some spicy elixir trades back and forth, and for whatever reason, like I'm just dropping this as a tank on defense, not even kiting, not even doing anything else, and it's working magically. You would think that if you spam Elixir Golems on defense, your opponent would eventually be able to overwhelm you with the 4 plus Elixir that they get, but it just doesn't happen. So we got a game against Max, and he's got a Night Witch, and he's got Skeleton. So we immediately expect a Mega Knight deck. We're going to mirror our Bombers in the back, and I kind of expect him to either go for an Elixir Golem or a Mega Knight or something here. He's not doing it. So he's going to Mega Knight in front of his Witch for sure, so we need to just go for Bats here. We can't give him the opportunity to Mega Knight and destroy us. So that's why I didn't decide to go for an Elixir Golem at the river, because he would have Mega Knighted and then had a counter push with the Witch. It would have been really bad for me. So in this situation, we're just waiting until he Mega Knights, then we're going to apply a ton of aggression. So he's going to go Baby Dragon in the back. I'm going to go for another Mirror Bomber, because I don't want to give him Elixir with our Elixir Golem. So we have to play this like very carefully if we want to win this game. He's running a meta deck. He's a pretty good player, 6-0 in a GC. We can't, can't mess around here. We have to assert dominance. So Baby Dragon's still going to give him a little bit of chip, but it's not too much. I'm just going for Skellies. And then we can go for Bomber on the left. So I'm just playing safe and sound until we figure out what he's got. I can maybe go in for like a Bomber on the right-hand side. Fully expect him to Mega Knight in front of that or Elixir Golem. We'll have to wait and see. Those bats are going to be quite an issue if I don't go in for my own bats. And I think we're going to be able to kill his Night Witch here. So he goes in for his own Witch. All right, all right, I see you. Man, I need to just hold this when he Mega Knights. He's not doing it, though. It's not about the life. All right, Elixir Golem comes down. This is our opportunity to play really solid defense. Go for a Zap so we can shut that down. Go in for a Bomber. And then go in for Double Bomber, maybe? Yeah, I think we go in for the Double Bomber Domination. And we'll be able to kill the Elixir Golem really quickly. And we know that he's going to have Mega Knight for sure. So I need to swarm it. Super hardcore. Maybe we can go and do a dual lane aggression. Do something like this. Going for double bombers because he's probably gonna Mega Knight on the right hand side, so we want to go in for an Elixir Golem on the left. And I think that this might be able to take his tower, guys. If we go in for bats here as well, we have an Elixir Golem bomber push coming at him, and I don't think it's stoppable. Oh my gosh, this is insane, boys. 
The bombers are doing so much work. We can go for a zap here and go in for another elixir golem on defense so then he doesn't break through. We definitely have to go for bats, skeletons, ice spirit. Maybe we can get a bomber down and win this game with an elixir golem on defense. This is going to be difficult. 17 seconds remaining. All we need to do is hold the door, boys. Can we do it? We're going to go in for a zap to reset. And a lizard golem coming down on the right-hand side. If we're able to stop it from crossing, we might be able to make it happen. Six seconds, four seconds, not enough. No, he did me dirty. But are we able to do him dirty? Double lizard golems here. We can go in for a heal. And maybe we need to... No, we need to zap an ice spirit on defense. I don't think we got him. He barely defeated us. GG, well played, man. Oh, Max, he got me. The crazy meme deck could not hold up to Max. Move on to the next one and let's assert dominance there. So we got a game against the King of Asgard and he's already going in with Bats and Miner. This guy's vicious, relentless with his aggression, going in so aggressive at the start. Wild, dude. Let's go for Ice Spirit Skeletons on the left-hand side, see if we can get a little bit of chip, get some value. And I'm gonna go for a Bomber on the right. Oh man, he's actually gonna go in for a Valkyrie and Wallbreaker. So those Wallbreakers definitely will connect to our tower. We can't even stop them, so there's no point in trying. At this point, we go in for the double Elixir Golem Push Domination. Whoa, he's got a, a Bomb Tower as well. So this deck is actually pretty prevalent at the moment because it's able to kill Elixir Golems really easily. He's going to have Magic Archer in this deck as well, probably. I'm going to go for a Zap here so then we can keep the Bomber alive. And then I want to go for a Heal. So then those Golemites just do so much more damage. Heal plus Golemites actually do work. Oh my gosh. So we're actually up in damage at the moment, and he's going to go in for another Valkyrie. We're going to have to go and kite with an Elixir Golem, and I expect him to go in for Wallbreaker. So we have to get Ice Spirit and then Bomber on top of that. If that doesn't happen. We're sad. Uh, come on, Bomber. They both connected, unfortunately. We're going to have to go for Bats right now, and maybe we can go for double sequence of Bats, but it's looking very difficult. This is the one deck that is actually not easy to play against when you have Elixir Golem because the Bomb Tower just does so well. And that's the premise of us having the Bomber in this deck. If you have Bomber in the deck or Bomb Tower, you can actually kill the Elixir Golem and the Elixir Golemites quite easily because of the splash damage. So we're going to go in for Bomber again on defense. We will be able to kill this Magic Archer, fortunately for us, but we are giving him a surplus of Elixir. He's going to go Bomb Tower, so that's a lot of Elixir that he just casted on just Golemites, so we're fine with that, actually. Huh, he's got Poison, so I can't do too much. I think that I probably want to go Bomber in the back and mirror it. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to go for Miner. So we can just go Ice Spirit, Skeleton, so then we can go and pull the Valkyrie up a little bit higher. It doesn't matter that it got shot down. We're still fine with that. Since he went in for a Poison, we have to apply Aggression. There's no other option or avenue that we could explore here. Maybe we can go for a Bomber here, so then the Bomb Tower doesn't hit our Bombers joined together, joined forces. And man, we are going to get a little bit of damage, a little bit of chip. We take those, we take those for sure. Guys, we might be able to walk away with a W here, even though this deck is kind of obnoxious to play against for us. Man, maybe we can go in for a Skeletons in the back. Hopefully a Miner's there. We'll see. We're trying to spread out everything. Go in for double Bombers and then go for a Zap, so then the Bombers are going to be aided in their endeavors on defense. So we just don't have to fully rely on them. They're like, Jake, we're putting in all the effort, all the work here. Come on, give us some support. Oh, let's go. I think that this Elixir Golem will break through if we go for a heal. Let's get a little bit of damage. Come on, give it to Daddy. Give me damage or give me death. We need the victory right here, right now. We're going to go for a zap for the memes. And we take the W. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. We actually won that game. I can't believe we did it. And that's actually where I'm going to end today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to sauce out a fat thumbs up on the video. If you guys somehow aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing with your lives? Hit that sub button today. And turn on notifications so you can get notified when I go live with crazy content just like this. Thanks for watching. Thanks for chilling with me. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.